Hello and welcome to the kitchen garden at the humble Highland home. Thank you so much for joining me here today. The progress of the development work in the garden continues to be on hold whilst I take care of the seasonal requirements of the current food producing areas. It's the time of year where I give back to the soil and mix up some well rotted organic matter to use as mulch and to lay on top of the soil. This was the first apple tree that I planted in the kitchen garden around about this time last year. You might have seen in previous videos that this tree produced two apples for us this year but year on year it should feed off the goodness that I added into its root system and from the mulch that I add to the surrounding soil so that it can gather strength and firmly set its roots to form a solid base. This tree should fruit right about October time. Our second apple tree is just about to be planted which would mean that we get apples in October from the first tree and then November from the second tree. Both our apple trees are grafted onto a root stock which means that they should only grow to a certain height which will be manageable for me to look after them. And to look after them at this time of year, I just lay some old grass cuttings with some leaf mulch around the base of the tree, but not too close to the trunk. It's the time of year where I like to give back to the plants, and especially the perennials, because we want them to grow next year again. This is part of the bigger picture of a healthy and productive sustainable garden cycle and it really shows the reason why I compost, save wood chips, fallen leaves and grass cuttings along with seaweed and clean wood ash to be able to make it into a gift to return to the soil and to feed the plants and in return to get a gift of next year's bounty. And it's a really good time for me to check on the health of the plants and make any adjustments. As the saying goes, don't feed the plants, feed the soil. I have two rhubarb crowns growing in this area. The first one was planted early spring of this year and the second one was moved from a different location but is more of a mature plant. So hopefully with the rotted manure mulch mix that I've made up, it will use the winter slumber to rest and feed its roots ready for next year. The mulch mix that I'm using in this perennial bed is made up of well rotted manure, leaf mulch, grass clippings and some wood chips. I only took a small amount of rhubarb this year given that it's only one year old as I want all the energy to go back into the rhubarb crown for it to become stronger to feed us in the years to come. Mulching around plants at this time of year can provide many benefits to your garden. It can keep weeds down at this time of year and also in springtime when it starts to warm up again. It can build soil and prevent soil erosion without digging and disturbing the natural ecosystems. It can encourage wildlife in their natural habitat. It can protect the root systems from the frost in the colder weather and it can help to retain moisture and warm up the soil in springtime. So 
so on with my next task, which is the blueberry growing area. I'm making up a slightly different mulch mix for the blueberries because they like their growing areas to be very acidic. So along with the leaf mulch and the wood chip, I'm also adding some ericaceous compost. The biggest blueberry bush that I have now planted in the ground, I had for many years and it grew in a pot. I think it was very relieved though to finally be planted into the ground and to be able to spread its roots out. But first to clear out all the nasturtiums and the calendula and all the weeds. The nasturtiums did so well this year in all areas that I had them planted in the garden that I don't think I'll have to plant any next year because they will just self-seed. And we do tend to have some volunteer plants that pop up in very random places at times. Just like these potatoes, I do vaguely remember seeing some leaf growth from a potato plant, but these must have come from a potato skin that maybe hadn't decomposed completely in the compost because I definitely did not plant any potatoes here. They definitely won't go to waste though, they will be a very welcome addition to our kitchen pantry. As I previously said, I had one blueberry bush for many, many years, but this year I have since added two more bushes, one of which has been planted in the ground and the other potted on into a bigger pot until I've had chance to work on this area a little more and it will then share the same ground as its wee blueberry friends. So with the different areas that I've been working on today, all the plants in that area like and thrive on the same type of soil. And I try to follow what Mother Nature would do and what she would provide at this time of year. So I'm going to continue with some of the autumn garden clear up and I will bid you a farewell. So until next time, thank you so much for joining me here today. Please take care of yourselves and others and I will see you in the next video.